Aloha! What's going on YouTube? We're back for another video. It's the weekend, so now you guys get to relax a little bit more and not do as much. And you get to relax, watch videos, and you know, just hang out. So, we're actually gonna go in and do some more stuff, because why not? We'll just get some more medals. I actually wanna try this out, the like the golden balloon. Now, it's supposed to give a whole bunch of other stuff, so there's no point in putting it in the harder difficulties, so we might as well just put it on easy. Now, what I do know is that it comes in on round 35. So, I have to prepare to hit it on round 35. And the other thing is, it supposedly has all the same properties as like camo lead basically the hardest possible thing except for moab it doesn't have moab class properties so it can't be easily taken down by the monkey buccaneer or the cannon moab mauler so i'm thinking um, an apprentice is always great but dartling guns are also a fantastic way to go so actually we'll start off with the ninja monkey and I'll give my reasoning as to why. Basically, there's this upgrade to the right, this one right here. So the ninja monkey can sometimes throw bombs. Well, whenever they sometimes throw bombs, it actually stuns the balloons. So I'm hoping that when it acts upon the golden balloon, it will hopefully slow it down, at least, or it or completely freeze it altogether. Because the thing about that is that balloon it actually is also very quick. So it's also very similar to a pink balloon in that sense. It's so, so quick. So I'm hoping that maybe it can take it down a notch and not be as quick, but we'll find out. We'll definitely find out. We're gonna put down some uh, banana farms because I'm definitely gonna need the extra cash. And also, if you guys are wondering about the hat, my hair looks very, very terrible because it's so straight and it doesn't look right. So I'm actually covering it up. It only happens when I wear a hat. So because I wore this hat earlier, because it's cold, it straightened my hair a lot, and it, it doesn't look as right. So, you know, it happens. Boom. At this banana farm, I'm hoping that one can get reached by the monkey. It should. I think it should reach everything. And one more, just for good measures. And round 11, so we're creeping up ever so slightly onto this next round. We're just gonna keep going to the left because that's where we'll get a lot of our money. And we'll just keep going. Come on. We just need the money to flow in a little bit quicker. And just once we see the actual ninja monkey having some trouble, then we'll upgrade him to the flash bomb ability. But for right now, it doesn't need it because if you can tell, it still has this whole extra area corner right here and it's doing just fine with taking them out up here so it's not like we're actually having trouble whatsoever so we'll just keep going with that let's just keep getting these banana farm upgrades to getting some more cash if you can see the money's coming in so much more quickly and now before 35 if i can get that left upgrade for the factory that will tremendously help out. Yeah, see, this one red balloon that's taking a while. One, they also get pushed back by the farmer, but they also can get taken out by the uh, banana monkey once, or the ninja monkey once they eventually breach him. And there we go. Look at this amount of money coming in. This is crazy. Now we're gonna start upgrading a lot. We're going to actually take off the autoplay, so that way we can start putting in the extra towers before 35 comes in. Let's put in a village, which is always useful. Got some more cash here. Factory. 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 And then we're going to get these bonus cash. Now all the factories are fully upgraded, maximize their power and stuff. 
Um, I'm thinking just putting down a super monkey and getting the robo monkey. I think that will best suit the actual possibility of breaking the golden thing. Now, I have never popped it before. So this is gonna be new to me, just like it's new to you. So we're about to find out together what actually happens and what all comes out of it. Because I have been able to do damage to it to where it can eventually get more, like you get cash coming in and stuff like that. But like I said, I haven't actually taken one out completely. I don't know if they're able to be popped at all. Maybe they can't be. Put in a ninja monkey here. I did not mean to get that upgrade. It costs a lot more than necessary. That's for the Moab class balloons. And just keep placing them down. It's insane. I mean, look at how much stuff we have now. I think now we can take it off the autoplay. I think now we're actually safe. And we can do the proper amount of damage to take it out. We're on 33, so it's about to come up. It's getting close. Wow, there it is. That was a lot quicker than I thought. So we got a meerkat. What I thought I saw was maybe some cash, but other than that, I didn't really see what actually totally came out of it. But we basically took it out instantly. That was insane, but it definitely, we're done. We don't have to do anything for the rest of the match. That was interesting. I've never taken one out before, ever. I've seen them before, I've tried it, but I never had a solid strategy. I think the banana farms help out, but it's very difficult because you're, worried about not being able to pop balloons so you don't go for the factory but if you put in a little bit of risk to get the factories then you should be able to get the ample amount of money to produce the towers that you need but you don't actually need that much like money itself i think we could pop the golden balloon if it were to be on impossible i think we could do that i think we can do it very easily in fact but we're just gonna keep casually going through this round finish it up and then hopefully we can get some more medals later on you could do some like maps that don't have certain medals and just start collecting i want to eventually on the normal not mastery but normal route i want to try and get all the medals it's going to be very difficult but i think i can do it with time so we're going to just casually keep getting these and just keep doing them over and over and over again and if you guys want me to see, like, you want to see me do anything special, like only one particular tower, I'm going to try implementing that here and there as well. But other than that, I'm just going to keep trying to get, like, just keep playing and playing. It's a nice, casual, fun, relaxed kind of game, you know? And we're almost done. Two more rounds, basically. After this one, it's done. And it's funny because there are Moab class balloons and all these other sorts of things, but I want to see what this one actually does. So it's supposed to last for 15 seconds, and during the during the sabotage, all new balloons are crippled to half speed. That's actually really nice. Like I said, when you get that left like uh, monkey flash bomb upgrade, it stuns the balloons every time it throws a bomb every once in a while, which is nice. Now I'm wondering if the upgrade itself later on actually implements a way to where you can what is it? I'm wondering if it throws bombs more commonly at all. But we're going to go through the intermediate. We're almost done. We're at 86%. So we're very, very close. Uh, Snake River and Dockside are the only ones where we need medium metals, I believe. Yep, out of 16, we have 14. So we're going to do Dockside first and click medium and play. And we're going to end up going through this one. I actually like doing all these medals because if you hadn't noticed, I actually did end up getting the, actually, I know what I'm going to do. I haven't tried this yet, but it looks to be amazing. I'm going to go and get the mortar tower building. Here it is. So if I activate the mortar tower building and go into the mission that I was going to do, we're going to use only mortar towers to completely take out every single balloon and go through and win. Now this one doesn't have much land space, but I think we can do it. The mortar towers do take up a lot of space, but I have faith that we can do it. So we're gonna place down a mortar tower. And the reason I got the building is because I don't know exactly when, 
but there is an upgrade that you can get for the building. And when you get this upgrade, it actually allows you to target the towers. And look at this. Now he's following the red balloons and is able to actually hit them. And now the reason I went to the twice to the right instead of the bigger explosion to the left is the right side will allow burning, which basically, if I get a black balloon which cannot be killed by explosives, it can't be popped by explosives, the burning allows it to have some sort of burning sensation on it, which will allow it to deteriorate the black shell, and then the bombs will actually be able to destroy the uh, balloons underneath afterwards. So it's very useful. And then I got signal flare to the right because camo balloons are a thing, and that signal flare will strip it of the camo properties. And now I'm going to put down another uh, mortar tower. I do like this one though because it does so much work. If you couldn't tell, it actually becomes three mortar towers, which is interesting. Boom. And then just start upgrading them. Now I don't know if I want all to the right and just make it easy, or do I want to put some to the left and do some extra damage, which I think I'll need for the Moab class blooms. I think that will be needed. Because with the Moab class balloons, you're going to need some more damage. Well, the left side allows you to pop multiple layers at once, which will be very useful. I think I'm going to go to the left for this one. I don't need burning stuff right now, so I'll just leave it be and save up because the other one has burning stuff. And this way, I'll be able to pop through. See, now I'm able to get through complete greens with just these two towers because this left one pops two, which is the green and blue, and then the right one does the one layer left, which is the red. And then we'll get another uh, left side mortar tower. Now I don't know if this is even possible, so we'll find out together. Let's see. I don't know if I have to set the target on the camo balloons. Like, do I have to take the targeting of the camo balloons and set it still? Because if it's following balloons, will it follow camo? So I'm not sure. We'll find out when the camel bloom comes around in its own special mission. So we'll find out. But let's just keep going, getting some more abilities, burning stuff. And I think we'll start putting them on this boat, because they can be placed on the boat. They just can't be placed on the water. Which there is this pontoon, I believe it is where you can place it in the water and you can put towers on it, but I don't really need it. So I might as well just keep placing them down and then I can do last, close, strong, or I can set the target. And with this one, I think I'll go to the right this time. I'm thinking of doing a one to two. For every one mortar tower to the right, I'll do two to the left. And I think that will help out the best. Because I don't need the right one for all the camo balloons, because it will completely strip the camo properties. So once they come around and they're camo, I'll be fine. The camo will be gone, and then these bigger mortar towers will end up starting to like take away their layers, and I'll be fine in that sense. You know? So let's just keep placing them down. It's funny how they have extremely large circles of placement. But you can place them, if you're doing it up and down, you can place them very close together. Like these could have gotten closer together, and I might even be able to put one in between. Yeah, I can put one in between. Go right. Or left, I mean. And we'll just keep going, and we just gotta keep saving up the money. See, like this right here. The camo balloons are getting taken out, and once they're taken out, they should be fine. Burning stuff, signal flare, and then bigger explosions. Now my thing is, we can get camo balloons, they will target them on their own. But I don't know if the... I'm pretty sure it loses its property. Actually, we'll check. Why don't I just read it? So, one more time, boom. And once we get the next mortar tower, I will check to see what it says for signal flare. So it says the camo balloon popped by the flares permanently loses their camo. So yeah, they're permanently gone. We don't have to worry about their actual camo anymore. We have the balloon buster and just keep going. We'll go to the left on this one as well. And now should I do this one for the three layers? 
I'm thinking I should eventually do that for like when the ceramics come around and stuff like that. Because the ceramics will be heavy, heavy, heavy hitters. Ceramics are very hard to actually take out. And no more can be placed on there, but that's okay. Because we'll start placing them on here. Boom. Place one right above that. And we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need two more to even it out as the plan I wanted to do. I don't have to go by it, but it, you know, makes sense. Because eventually they start becoming like crazy. Like they have waves and waves of camo. So that's when those would be very, very necessary. Uh, there they go. And now I can go to the signal flare side. I don't think I can place one above that. But I can place one here. I cannot place another one. Can I place it on this boat? Nope. I can place it on this boat though. So once I do that. Oh wow, so the Moab was taken out. I didn't think I was going to be able to take out Moabs. So let's just keep going and getting more and more order towers. And eventually I want to upgrade these to the right side completely and they start shooting three times as quick. Can't place them there, but we can place them over there. And now we can just keep placing them down. I'm just going more and more and more. So how are you guys doing? Did you like the week? Are you happy that it's the weekend now? I know I am. I mean, I still work on the weekend other than just the YouTube channel. So it is, I still do some stuff, but it's all right. Cause I do love making these YouTube videos. They are so much fun. Now I'm just kind of placing down whatever. And just keep placing down anything. And I think that's it. All right, so now it just comes down to upgrading whatever it is we need to upgrade. So that's what the triple one is. It does shoot three times as quickly, but it also has this ability which immobilizes all balloons on the entire screen at once. So once like, if I were doing hard or impoppable ZOMG balloons come in. Well, if I were needed to, I can freeze it so that all the mortar towers just start hitting it, which would be very, very nice, but I don't have to. The worst I gotta worry about is the BFB, which is intense in and of itself, because look at these more Moab towers. They are taking a little bit, so I'm gonna go for these left sides for the mortar towers, the big ones, so that they can start doing some more damage. They do three layers instead of two. So I'm assuming because they do the extra layers, they should be able to do more damage to Moab class balloons. It only makes sense, you know? It seems like it's exploding slightly quicker. And I know for a fact that the triple one will definitely do more damage because instead of shooting one at a time, it's shooting them three times as quickly. So imagine that. You're not only shooting it boom, boom, boom like you're not hitting it boom 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 like you're going insane a lot quicker so it's definitely doing basically three times the damage in hindsight but we're gonna keep going upgrade this one to the right as well so we can shoot quicker and this is actually really interesting because i didn't know that this would work as easily as i thought it's good a lot better than i thought though i didn't think this was gonna work out oh here's the first bfb wow it's already shredded. That's insane. I literally had no clue that it would be blown up that quickly. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Upgrade that, and that's what I meant to do. That's insane. And we're almost done. We have three rounds left. I don't even think I need to upgrade anything else. We can just relax. That's insane, though. But if I need to stop the... Eventually, I think it's 65, there are two BFDs that come out. So if I need to stop them for any reason and slow them down just so that they, they can be popped, I do have two abilities that I can use just in case. I don't think I'll get to upgrading any more. I need 9,500, so it's a couple thousand. Up, up. There we go. 
And now I think that's good, because this is the final round. And if I need to stop him, I can with the ability, but I'm pretty sure that they'll be down with ease. Because I imagine that if the BFD was done at this corner, if there were two and it took twice as long, which it won't, it would be down to here. Because imagine, they're being they're in basically right next to each other, and because it's an explosive property, they're hitting both at the same time. Yeah, look at this. Yup. No problems at all. That is insane, though. And we get 1,000 instead of the regular amount, which I believe is 500, because um, when I logged in today, it gave me two times the monkey cash. So that's great. I'm actually going to do monkey subs for this one. This one's going to be insane. Oops, I can't do that. The reason being is I can't hit the left side. So I'm going to put him in the middle first. Then do that. There we go. So now I can get a couple more uh, submarines. So now that he has advanced intel, whenever I place a submarine, he'll be able to hit anywhere on the screen, which will be perfect. That's the main perk about this submarine, is he can hit almost virtually anywhere on the screen. All you need is a tower to be placed there, and you're good. So all we gotta do is keep going. And the nice thing is, I'm pretty sure they instinctually follow balloons. I don't think you have to get an upgrade for those darts to follow anything. Because all I did was get the barb dart. So it's the first upgrade to the left, if at all is necessary. That makes them follow. It's insane. There we go. Getting that next advanced intel. Now, other than this, for the camo balloons, I have to go to the right. And for the lead balloons, I have to go to the left. So I'm going to immediately, I'm not even going to spend money on getting another balloon. I'm going to immediately just go to the right. Because I need this one right here for lead. Actually, I should probably go to the left first. Because if you can see, it's 500 for the left. Activate the submerge using basically the tracking. So first, last, whatever. You click submerge for that one. And you can permanently reveal camo balloons in its radius. So boom, submerged. It can't pop balloons until this upgrade, which I'm going to get because it is so powerful. It's worth saving up for. Ooh, I let one through. But it's okay because we're not going to keep all lives. It's 350 lives. We have plenty to go through. But if you can tell, I'm almost there. But once I hit that 2,500, this tower right here will be amazing for popping balloons. Because if you can see, if this will, message will go out the way, it activates submerge using the target options, which I have already done, to detect camo balloons. Pop balloons and... Come on. And reduce water tower cooldowns. So if I can have this... And look at that. It also pops balloons. So if I can have this stacked with this tower right here, I'm going to actually place another one at the bottom so I can start getting the ones that trickle through. Boom. Oh, are you serious? Finally. There we go. Advanced intel. And then we'll go for the twin darts. But if you can see that anything that comes through here will reveal camo balloons in its radius. So as long as they get popped before it leaves this radius, we're okay. So I'm going to go for the air burst. Air burst. And then we'll go for this missile. The ballistic missile is nice because you don't need anything on the actual screen to use the, um, what is it, advanced intel? You don't need advanced intel for the missile. The missile will automatically track once it's going through. It will automatically seek out the balloons that it needs to do. So if you need to take out lead balloons, all you gotta do is do this one, and they'll track out the um, first balloon in the line. So whatever is furthest along will get tracked down. And then see, the missile will take care of that lead balloon, as you saw. I can't place anything there. So in order for camo purposes, I'll place this one to the left and submerge it. So that way I can get the camo properties as well. And the interesting part is you can't necessarily see this middle part right here. That's not visible whatsoever. But... It's okay, because as long, once they hit the next tower, they'll be seen again. And look at that. So I'm going to try and spread these submerged towers all throughout the track, so that way they're visible completely. 
So now, whatever its radius, which is visible no matter what, whatever that radius is, you'll be able to see Camel Blues. Advanced Intel, Twin Dart, and then we'll get the Submerged Ability. And now this one I'm not going to submerge yet until I get to that next upgrade because it's not really necessary. All it does is the camel balloons, which are these two right here. But eventually when I get to this one, it can pop them as well, which will be perfect because then I can submerge it and not have to worry about losing any popping power, you know? Boom. Submerge it. And then we'll just buy this one just because I don't know if it does anything to increase its popping power within its radius, but hey, you never know. The nice thing is, is that these bomb kind of missile towers once you get that right upgrade it is completely overpowered that right upgrade is an ability now that ability sends a missile to the strongest balloon on the field and will pop it now if you thought that was strong it takes down any balloon so if you have a zomg coming through and you have it on poppable mode and you have only five submarines all the way to the right you can just activate their ability and you will win because it, it, it automatically takes down those towers. It's insane. It's absolutely crazy. So we're going to activate this one and try and get its ability. Because that way, whenever the BFBs or the uh, Moab class balloons come through, I can take care of them immediately. And look at that. They're getting taken out so easily. Ooh. Did I lose? Not completely. I didn't completely lose. So I think I'll add another tower before I get that ability. Boom. We'll go all the way to the right. And we'll get another one back here with the submarine just in case anything reaches that far. And then, because we want some pop and power everywhere, we'll get this one. This guy right here, we'll do this one, and with this one all the way back here, I'll do the camo as well, just in case any camo reaches the end, this way I'll be able to pop them no matter what. Now that's a little intense on the eyes, but we will have no troubles taking out camo balloons. Now it's just trying to find out where I can place more towers. Just in case, just for that little bit extra popping. Oh, I found a spot. Where was it? I wasn't crazy, I know I saw it. And I did see that Moab get destroyed. What the heck? I know for a fact there was a spot. Aha. Oh my gosh. Now it's making me mad. Now I have to find it. Oh, perfect. And there, for you guys, is the fully upgraded right side missile. So once the BFB comes around, I can just click on that and it will take out the BFB. It's not like it takes it out and sends then the... Now it has Moab. It completely takes it out and destroys it. Look at this. Submarines only. And we're having almost no trouble. That's insane. And imagine if I unsubmerge this back one here, I'd get even more popping power for the front. But it's not even necessary. I mean, the missile guys have it. Come on. I just need a little bit more for this upgrade. And... 20,000. Boom. Perfect. So now I have two of them. So once we hit 65, I'll be able to take out both BFBs. And I don't even need to get any more upgrades. But these I might as well just... Why not? But it, it, the ability is so insane. I don't know if it is better than the Buccaneer, but it definitely seems like it. Because they both take out every type of tower. And they both have abilities that take down Moab class balloons, which is interesting. And they're both water. But I think that the submarine takes up less space. Maybe. 
I'm not sure. The only reason I'm saying that... See, look at that. BFB gone. But the only reason I'm saying that is because the tower itself looks to be slightly smaller. Wow. That was a little, a little too close, though. But look at this. Boom. Boom. We can just keep going. No troubles at all. Look at this. We're having no difficulties. We're just simply playing through. Look at that. We're just going through so easily. And after this, oh man. I don't even think I need another upgrade. I can think I can just sit here. And look at all those ceramic balloons. They were just taken out. Oh, I'll take out. I, can, I think I took it out two at once. But this is the BFB wave, so I saved two just in case. And I'm just going to use them just to end it. But no troubles whatsoever. Right when the BFBs come in. Where is it? I know it's coming. Ceramics are getting a little too far. Here it is. Boom. Boom. Done. No problems whatsoever. There you have it. Two incredibly amazing ways to get the two more intermediate medium difficulty medals. Now all we have left is hard, which we have nine, so that's insane. And then after that, we'll have a hundred percent, just like beginner. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, definitely leave a like down below. It was amazing to do this. Oh, I should have done the submarine shipyard and have their special abilities. I actually wonder what it is, which I will find out with you guys right now. So it reduces the cost, increases the projectile speed, and makes air burst starts do four instead of three. And also the submerged sub sonar also shocks regrow balloons into normal balloons. So that's amazing. Not completely necessary, but definitely amazing. And we're gonna try and finish up, what is it? Al's chipper. Here it is, 1500, 1500. So now we don't even need the monkey farmer, which is interesting because the final one collects bananas automatically. That's insane. That's insane right there. And now all I need is the heli hanger and the final upgrade to the monkey super layer. And we are done. We will have every single building in the game. But like I said, if you guys enjoyed the episode, hit the like down below. If you want to see some more, comment down below some challenges you want me to see, any some difficult things that you want me to do, anything that your mind can think of. I'll definitely be coming back to this maybe tomorrow or maybe just the next weekend. I don't know. But I'd like to put this game trickling it in there because I do love the game a lot. But it's something just to casually play here and there. So I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya.